What's up, folks? Main man, like you last year from <clears throat> Boros Burn. That's right. Back for some more. Hope you guys are excited for that. I know I am for the time being, as I always say, right after the time being. Uh, but like I said, my name is Lance Roman Foreman. My screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MGG, MGA, and Twitter. So if you're watching this on Twitch, please are following. If you're watching this on YouTube, please are subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. You can always follow me on Twitter for that blue bird action. That's right. Follow Major Riot on Twitch and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to Major Riot on YouTube. For the low, low cost of free, don't delay doing now for a guaranteed outburst of rage, confusion, and even sometimes joy. I always have this disclaimer, of course. I am not responsible for a sudden increase in top deck and only lands, being wrecked by Ragavan, or being unable to find your sideboard cards. If that starts happening to you, it has nothing to do with me. I just got to have that out as a personal disclaimer. Uh, but as you can tell, I do enjoy playing Magic the Gathering, although to watch my content, you'd never know that. Uh, when I play Modern, I mean Magic, I prefer to play Modern, but I have been dabbling in Pioneer because of RCQs. Um, but yeah, I normally don't play Burn, but you know I decided to try it out this week because people always say it's fun and good and fast, and so far almost all that's been a lie. Uh, let's take a look at the weather and uh, see how it is. It's still cold out there. This Boros Burst was heating me up, but it really didn't. Uh, weather for Ravensdale is are sunny. The temperature of 47 degrees. The wind is blowing from the northwest at 2 miles per hour. And the current humidity is 47%. So there you go. And C.S. Armistead is here. And he says, ready for this historic 5-0 stream. Well, I can't get a 5-0 in this league. I'm already 1-2 in this league. But maybe I can win five matches in a row, right? That's always the hope. That'd be nice. Um, so yeah, there's the weather report. Let's see here. We are No, we went up one follower on Twitter. We are now at 42. So thank you guys very much there we also went up one follower on twitch we are now at 297 so thank you guys very much there and yes we also went up two subscribers on youtube we are now at 481 so thank you guys very much there so of course you know what that means shout out to all 42 followers on twitter shout out to all 297 followers on twitch shout out to all 481 subscribers on youtube and of course a massive shout out to all six of my Twitch subscribers, it's going to be a little bit of hard earned money in these very trying and very dangerous times. I really appreciate it. It's going way above me on the Call of Duty. I mean, way above me on. Uh, you can do it for free. You can do it not at all. And it just means something so much to me that you guys are willing to go the extra distance and uh, contribute financially. When you could spend that money you're spending on anything else and make more sense. A, a one liter bottle of Fiji water. Get yourself one of them. That Fiji water. Does that really come from Fiji? I don't know. I do like the square bottle, though. You do feel fancy drinking out of the square bottle. I don't know. But let's get on in there, guys. I really got nothing else to say. Um, you know, the square bottle of Fiji water is always... If you want to impress, you get that square bottle of Fiji water. There's one other brand that's got kind of like a square bottle, right? Like, uh, I don't even know. You guys might hear my voice. My voice has been kind of messed up for a week, but today I don't know what's going on. I'm not sick or nothing. Just hope this is in the beginning of, of like throat cancer or something. All right. The hell am I doing? All right. Okay. Well, before I officially decide to go first, I do have to reveal my beverage of the day. And folks, I'm particularly excited to show this. I've never had this before. I've never seen this before, but I'm happy to show you all. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about a 16 ounce can of G Fuel Mega Man Blue Bomber Slushy. Look at this shit. It's got Mega Man on it and everything. Like, you know, it's Blue bom Bomber Slushy. Um, yeah, I used to watch the Mega Man cartoon as a kid. Mega Man, the fighting robot. Mega Man. That's all they would say in the intro. And like Dr. Ro Wiley was a classic, you know, cartoon, Saturday morning cartoon villain. Uh, this has 300 mega milligrams of caffeine. That's a lot. That's like two monsters in one. And, of course, uh, you know, I, I like Mega Man. Uh, I haven't played a Mega Man game in a long time, uh, but I do remember enjoying them. So, as we all know, the official start of the video doesn't begin until I crack on my beverage, which is going to happen right now. Oh, man. Okay, let's see this. Blue bom Bomber Slushy. Let's do the waft. It's good. Uh, it, it's good. It's just blueberry with like an icy flavor. All right, of course I'm going to go first. I'm going to mold this because I don't have any ones. And this is only 
nine points of damage just not what we're looking for four lands is generally too many and this is much better uh put the skull crack on the bottom lead off with goblin guide i can't get that out of my head the fighting robot mega man the fighting robot mega man was it guts man cut man <laughs> there's no way i'm gonna remember all the the robot masters from the first game i mean i haven't played a mega man game in forever um calder complete that's really frightening that's this is clearly hammer then Yeah. All right, they're going to get torched a little bit here. They're going to take seven. Um, I guess they're going to take five. Definitely playing this. And yeah, just in their goblin guide. Okay, a Stoneforge Mystic is what they're drawing. They're at 13. I may have to bolt the Stoneforge Mystic. Maybe that's not true. If I bolt them, they're at 10. Well, I borrow Storm, they're at 9. This is 6. Yeah, it, they don't block. I find another land, they don't block. They may be looking at their hand right now saying, you know, I, I'm probably going to have to block here and I don't have another creature that I can also cast, you know, a Shadow Spear. Well, no, a Shadow Spear is only one, isn't it? That's not a land, but that's close. So, I mean, yeah, they have to block. Puts them at seven. Well, they, no, no, I can't do that because if I do that, then they can play another land. Have the Ink Moth. Yeah, shoot up. And then put the hammer on it. I need to be able to bolt in a response. If they block nothing, if they don't block the Swift Spear, then I can win here. See if they block Swiss Spear. They do not. So this is two, four, six, this is seven, ten. I mean, this should work. All right, there we go. Um. I mean, I think we just need to bring in, smash the smithereens and deflecting palm. 
Um, even though I don't know how Deflecting Palm works against a, a poison creature, or whatever they call it, uh, infect creature, poison creature. Um, yeah, do something like that. Sure. Uh, no. Not going to be good enough. Need two lands. That might work. Put the steering blaze on the bottom. You just never want to put the creatures on the bottom. These G fuels always say they increase energy, focus, endurance, and reaction for gamers, bro. Are you a gamer? Well, that's annoying. I mean, I guess we make them. All right. Oh, they block. Damn it. I've seen where they don't. Wow. Are they actually going to waste a. Uh... Wow. All right. Uh, how about that? Well, goddamn. I guess I got. Fucking own there. I need to just dial on. Sure. So I don't be able to attack anymore. But they're not going to be able to do a lot themselves. So if they swing with this uh, Sanctifier, you got to let it come through, and then we can, you know, attack back, crack back, you know. Wow. All right, I mean, we're just going to keep sitting here. I mean, I know what they're going to do. They're going to try and find, you know, like a, uh, you know, a uh, Shadow Spear or a Hammer or something. 
Just every time they cast a spell, they gotta take four. I mean, they don't have anything that's above three mana, right? So for like Calder Complete. Hmm. Well, I obviously can't block it, but I'm just thinking here, if I double bolt them, I'm going to go to 14, then that would take me down to... Yeah, I guess I'm kind of screwed here. They probably just keep attacking me for two damage the rest of the game, right? I guess I kind of locked myself out here, maybe. I don't know. I mean, maybe I can maybe I can get enough of a critical mass here that I can. Uh... Does this work against the? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Does it work? That's pretty good. Yeah. I don't know if the deflecting palm works. Does it say target? Next time a source of your choice. Yeah, I don't know. Man, I, I have to let him draw here because if this works and it takes him to seven. Yeah, it still works. They won't gain any life. They just take three damage. Um, wow, uh, yeah, let's just swing in here. Let's see if I can catch him. All right, so we let this all resolve. Let me make sure I got the math right. So this is going. This is one's going to die. Then I'm going to take a total of two, four, six, eight. I'm going to live by one. So two, four, six, seven, eight. But yeah, yeah, I have to take them off this. Uh, okay, we're gonna end step here.
This is going to be close. Look at that shit. Oh my god, what a ridiculous way to win. Wow. Wow. That's doing some math there. That's that's living by the skin of your teeth. Literally. Right on. Right on, baby. Wanna know today? We're gonna go for the three and two in this league. Can you feel it? I hope you can. That was really intense. You guys ever think about the declining habitat of the northern or, or of the California quail? Right, CS Armistead with the Komodo Dragon Pog Champ. Right, that's what they call it now. Pog Champ with the Komodo Dragon. It's just not the same anymore since they removed Gutex. Ryan Gutierrez. Oh, how we miss you. Another victim of political correctness. Burn them indeed, Gage. I just did. Did you see that shit? That was crazy. Barely surviving my own idol on to triple bolt them. This is a fool's gold hand again. Because. Because, you know, I do have like four technically. I'm only counting this. This is not a one. I have three. Half my hand is ones. Um, I'll mole here. Let, let, let's see if I can't get two lands. It's so much better to have two lands. You can do so much with two lands. All right, there we go. Uh, put a mountain on the bottom. And I'm ready with Searing Blade. Remember that one song back in the day with Skrillex? Skrillex and Bob Marley's son. It was in Far Cry 3 where you get the uh, you get the flamethrower and you burn down an entire acre of marijuana plants. And it starts playing that song. It's like one of the funnest missions in the game. I really like Far Cry. Like, well, I only played Far Cry 3 and 4. Well, no, that's not true. I played Far Cry 1 and 2. Skrillex is a nice throwback. It is. Takes you right back to 2009, doesn't it? Um, and um, I played Far Cry 1. And, oh, Dragon Rage Chandler. So this is like Murktide. Um, well, it can't be Murktide with Jagantha. This must be Grix's Shadow. Um, but, you know, I, I enjoyed um, Far Cry 1. That's the one where you're on the island, you get like the crazy, like, like, you know, powers, you know, you like inject yourself or something. It's been a long time since I played. And then Far Cry 2 was in Africa. And I wasn't a big fan of that one because the rebels kept taking back bases. So you had to constantly, you know, fight, you know, little encampments that you already cleared. It was really annoying. And then Far Cry 3 came out, and it was really good. I, I really, really liked it. The ending was fucking weird. I, I picked the good ending where you save your friends. I watched on YouTube, which was very novelty back then, be able to see another different um, ending on YouTube of the bad ending where you pick to stay with um, the tribal gal. And, uh, sure. And uh, where she, you, you impregnate her and then she kills you. Um, that was weird. Um, and then Far Cry 4, we were like in Nepal. And it turns out the main villain of the game is actually better than the people you're fighting with against him, right? Like the rebels. The rebels turn out to be like, you know, like basically the Cuban revolution, right? 
I don't know what's going on now. Now there's a goddamn Urza saga. Alright. I mean, yeah. Maybe this is Jeskai? Jeskai, uh... All right. I mean, I'm going to do two damage to one of them. I really like this artwork of Goblin Guy. The original one, he's kind of like dopey. He's supposed to be like, I think, Dobby, right? From Harry Potter. And they have another one, too, that's a promo art. Did they make another art of Goblin Guy? I got to look that up. Did they make a, a borderless art of it? All right, experimental synthesizer. Now I really don't know what's going on. Now I am truly confused. Yes. This kind of sucks. You don't want to have the steering blaze a Bomac carrier. But I will happily, uh, Blast that uh, Dragon Rage Chandler. Come on, something good. Well, now I can actually blast this too, but I I'm going to blast the Chandler. Who would ever think that Skrillex would be considered oldies, right? I mean, someday in the future, we're going to turn on the oldies radio station and they'll be playing Skrillex. You already hear it now. Like, when I hear, like, classic rock, like, they'll play, like, songs that are, like, you know, like, Papa Roach's Last Resort. It almost, like, disturbs me beyond rational thought sometimes. When I first heard that, oh, my God, dude. Get him down to eight. Another experimental synthesizer. All right, let's see if he's got Shadow Spear. Probably. Why wouldn't he? Everyone's got Shadow Spear. That's ah, Spring Leaf Drum. Yeah. I just got to find burn spells here. That's all I got to do. That's kind of a burn spell. Got to hold this land in case I get steering blaze. Yeah, I take three. I take four. Just gotta find them burn spells, you know? Or absolutely not, you know? I mean, no. The answer is no. 
I mean, they're just going to win off of slamming with these tokens. Really horrible. I mean, there's really nothing I can do to win at this point. Um, I'm just too far behind. They have too much life. Um, I just haven't been drawing any land, any non-lands. You know, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six lands out of 11 cards. I mean, you're not going to win doing that. They got me down to eight, got me down to seven. Um, yeah, I, I just can't win. I, I just can't win. So we're just going to take the damage. I'm, I'm going to get hurt here. Uh, there's nothing I can do. There's absolutely nothing I can do to win this game. Just the game's over. It was over a long time ago simply because they found multiple Urza Sagas and my inability to find non-land cards. How about one more land, just for good measure? Ah, eh, Lightning Helix keeps me alive a little bit. Probably not even e e e Yeah, just they got just let's save some motherfucking time, motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, smash the smithereens. You look pretty good. Um, maybe deflecting palm as well. Yeah, I mean, dude, that game was looking good. They were at ten. And I top deck two lands in a row. You know, I just need to find like. Imagine if instead of. You know, I topped like Eidolon, Land, Land, Lightning Helix. Imagine if it was like Eidolon, Boros Charm, Lightning Bolt. I mean, two Boros Charms would have been enough to win. That ain't going to happen. Fuck no. Um, yeah. Something like that. I, I, I think Deflecting Palm's all right. I mean, I'm, I'm really, I'm not really into bringing these in unless I need to take care of enchantments, right? So I don't know what I'm playing against here. Some sort of red artifact deck. Give me a second here. What the hell's going on? Okay. Um, yeah. Keep a ruski. Swing in for two. A lightning bolt, nice. God, this artwork's so brutal. Look at that. Just bones coming out of your hand from trying to punch. Look how violent that is. That's disgusting. It really is. So how do I want to do this? They're they're going to if if I swing they bolt. I think I want to play Eidolon, which will cause them to bolt anyways. I think. I think we swing and see if they bolt. I don't know why they wouldn't bolt. 
But that is swinging with knowing that they're going to bold is just giving them potentially free information or a free draw of the land. Um, yeah, I think it's best to do Eilon first. When it takes their sweet, sweet time. Yeah, I agree, Gage. Eidolon first. And I top decked another Goblin Guide anyways. They don't bolt. Um, well, I mean, they're going. I mean, if they don't bolt here, that's awesome. Oh, here it comes. All right. Nice. I'm gonna draw a land here that way I can do Goblin Guide and Eidolon. Oh. I never go on a with this deck though, so it's probably gonna be like, a, you know, yeah, another different Goblin Guide. Um. This could be really bad letting it, this Ragavan swing, but what can you do? I take my fourth Goblin Guide. Man, how do we do this? I mean, I... Because I don't want to play Goblin. I go to 11. Swing with all of them. That knock them to 10. Hmm. I want to save Deflecting Palm for that Urza Saga. I play both Goblin Guides to go to 11. They probably just block my Eidolon with their gob with my Goblin Guide. Um, man, oh man. I think doing nothing's really bad. If I take him to 11, I go to 13, and I can block with Eidolon. But if I do that, like, let's say I play both Goblin Guides. I go to 11, swing at him with everything. They block Goblin Guide. Or they block Eidolon with Goblin Guide. They take another 4. They go to 10, hopefully. Um, and then I can lava spike them and they go to seven and I'm still sitting on two guides. I don't know, I guess, I guess we do it. Let, let's see how this works. Spring leaf drum, spring, yeah, spring leaf drum. Yep.
Right on, they took a land. Sweet. Even though I could have used the uh I could have used the uh Sunbay Canyon there. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to swing here. I think I want to hold the inspiring vantage, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to sit back and uh, try to deflecting palm. Because this thing's going to be big when it goes to swing at me. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Just need a burn spell here. Just need a burn spell. Come on. Yeah! All right. Just no time to wait. Just blast his ass. Boom! All right. Man, Deflecting Palm has been good. It's been outrageously good. All right, here we go. Game three. Money on the line for a positive, chill, interactive... 3-2. Ah, oh, man, I really want to have something to do on turn one. But this is not bad. I mean, four lands is a lot. I think I need a mole. I think I need a mole. Try for something better. It's worse. Okay. That's not bad. So that's five moles. We got to go to five. Uh, Fiery Island on bottom. Skull Crack on bottom. Yeah. Yeah, right, man. This is the worst thing I could have found there or gotten there. Um,. See if they want to trade. Okay, they do. See if they have another Ragavan. What is this? The Adjaganta? Okay. This is going to be really close again.
Five damage by Eidolon? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? At eight, they're at seven. Man, this this match race might not even work because of uh, because the targets here are just not, they're they're gonna miss. Getting dicey. Yeah, this was just like a lightning helix. It'd be four to eight right now, or four to five. No, it'd be four to eight. But here we are, uh, wondering what's gonna happen. I mean, I'm at three. I can force this. No I can force this to miss because I can smash it. I think my first play is probably gonna have to be uh, cracking Sunbay Canyon. It just depends. If he just plays an artifact like randomly, you know, I can't I can't go down to three if he has lightning bolt. I mean, they might have a lightning bolt in that Bomac carrier. You could have a lightning bolt off that Mistress Research desk. Is that even a desk? I guess it is. It's tough to tell. Galvanic Blast, wow. All right, so first things first, I'm going to draw a card. It's Swiss Spear. You get a basic mountain. I'm going to try and smash the smithereens that. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh my god, the one card that was underneath the Bomac Carrier was a Lightning Bolt. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Wow, holy shit, dude. That's crazy. Come the fuck on. The one car in the Bomac Carrier was a lightning bolt. Are you fucking kidding me? That's so sad. That's so outrageously sad. Well, uh, mission fail. Can't even get a three and two. Got to settle for a two and three. What a fucking fail. What a fucking fail. I knew it was going to be a lightning bolt. The guy attacked one time, one time with the um with the um Bomac carrier to get a card underneath of it. And of course it's gonna be lightning bolt. It was the only card. Like if it was any other card, imagine if that was a land, a um, you know, like a, a, a monetary Swiss spear. Even with the um Galvanic Blast, I would have gone down to one. Which would have been bad. But you know, would have been possible to maybe still win that game. And it just sucks that all all of his artifact cards were bad were bad targets for Smash the Smithereens. It wasn't like he was sitting on, you know, like you know, Crucible of the Worlds or something. Uh yeah, I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna mull and try to find a creature. I mean, I, I'm just not into hands like this. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I guess dump a spike. We like playing at instant speed. Wow. They're at 10. I mean, they're still going to be alive. I mean, I think that's crazy. Uh, swing for one. Is Burn doing any better? Damn, one one. I lost the last match because of ridiculousness. My opponent, um, you know, had a Bomac carrier with one card underneath of it. I go to smash the smithereens. It obviously it's not going to work. They're just going to, in response, um, I wonder if I should bolt now. Throw one bolt at him. Uh, but anyways, yeah, they had one one carney that Bomac carrier. They, they used its ability, you know, pay a red, and and the one carney of it. Guess what it was? Lightning bolt. Exactly enough for game. That mono red saga deck has become pretty popular. Is that what that was? I just put mono red. What is? This? What the hell is this? Uh, how about no? Eight. 
eight blast? Eight blast? Why is it called that? Well, they gotta have a subtlety here. Their only way to win is a subtlety. Or to stay alive, I mean. Gals and shrapnels. Shrapnel it does five damage to a creature. Does it, it only does damage to creatures and planeswalkers, right? Or does it do to just creatures? So I don't know. What I'm playing against here. Um, I I think I just like roiling vortex. Oh, it's target. Seek Nair, How you doing, man? Didn't even know that. How you doing, man? Um, yeah. Uh, against such a fairy, I like taking out rift bolts. Like, they're just so bad. Uh, but everything else looks okay. Shrapnel Blast. As an additional cost... Oh, yeah, it is any target. That's interesting. I thought it was because the opponent played it last game, but instead of me, which would have done uh, been really devastating, they instead hit my Eidolon. And, yeah, I know what Galvanic Blast does. That's pretty classic there. A little bit rough again, but I'm willing to keep. I'm willing to try this. Certainly now I'm willing to try it. Um, my life total probably doesn't matter too much, but I will go for a, well, I guess we'll shock here. I mean, fuck it. Yeah, uh, if Gage is still there, a lot of people say you should play Monastery Swiss Fear before you play Goblin Guide, if you have the choice. And I'm an old man, and I still prefer Goblin Guide. I mean, I'm just like, hey, man, it's pretty good. This might be blue-white control, even though they play, though they play Raugren Trium. Right? Was it Raugren? Yeah, so it's probably blue-white control with no Kahira. Well, their thought process is, is that you play Swiss Spear on one, and then you play like Bolt Spike on two, you know, but I'm just really down on that. So here we have the choice of, um, you know, I think I'm down with just going, uh, I probably should have took out Steering Blazes, honestly. Uh, I think I like putting out Swiss Spear here. There's a land. All right. Maybe I could do double Eidolon next turn. Won't that be exciting? Two separate different Eidolons. I agree. I think Goblin Guide on one is just so good. <laughs> like, it's dealing two damage. Uh, you know, it's just pretty devastating. If you can't stop that Goblin Guide until, like, turn three, you've already taken six damage, plus whatever else they're playing. I mean, fuck that. Uh, I'm going to throw out uh, an idol on here, see how they respond to it. Watch out for Supreme Verdict. That is true. That is true. So I mean, if if this resolves, then and and then and, and I'll just uh, I'll just play Royal Vortex. But it looks like they're pretty angry at this. Will it absorb? Absorb. There's an episode of Star Trek where uh, they keep talking about absorb. Like, you will be absorbed. The fuck does that mean? Hmm. 
<clears throat> you love seeing that. That shock. All right, since they counter that one, here's well, here's another one. All right, swing for one. I have a lot of lands again. Well, part of that's Path to Exile. The Path to Exile got me that mountain. All right. Okay. They might have a march in their hand. Uh, I'm just going to play a Rolling Vortex now. I'm going to, of course, as soon as I suspend this, they're going to play Teferi. That's the thing that sucks. They're going to counter the Roiling Vortex. They're going to take two first. Do I want to counter that? I mean, yeah, counter the counter. Yeah, I think I do. Two damage to Eidolon. Right, I could always put the three on, on that, but... I'm going to take the risk here. So this is all still on the stack, right? We still haven't entered combat. I'm, I'm still going to pay this. <laughs> I want the Roiling Vortex out there. Uh, apparently we got more stuff here. Is another different spell pierce? Wow, goddamn. All right, I mean, shit. Uh, yeah, take two. I have enough mana here that I can actually play Rift Bolt and Lightning Helix next turn. Uh, I think I'm just going to do that. I mean, I, I think that's best, right? I mean, fuck it. Let's do it. I've got five mana, which is a lot for burn, but it's working. They do have Archmage Charm available. I mean, sure. Uh, swing for three. Okay. attack
I'm just really concerned about a Teferi. So I, guess I just keep holding this Rift Bowl. It's probably wrong to keep doing that, but... You know, see what they got here. Yeah. Okay. A three mana lightning bolt. Yeah. All right. Nothing they can do here. Ow! Now that is lighting them up. Just a complete control of both games in that match. Just sizzling. Opponent's ass was on fire. The pain was real. Respectful main face light lava spike. Indeed. We're very respectful. Slow as fuck lava spike. And the good artwork, where it's just some bald monk dude, like, summoning fucking, like, fire. Like, they, they should have shown it, like, coming out of the ground, you know? But you only see, like, waist up, so he must not be wearing pants. Whenever they only show characters from waist up, they're just pantsless. Like, this is PG-13. We can't be showing this X-rated pantsless monk summoning fucking fire. It's supposed to be lava, right? But I don't know. All right, I will indeed go first. Thank you, Gage, for the sugary beverage sip redemption. Uh, you have been scammed again. This is a Mega Man G Fuel. It is a uh, blue bomber slushy. It has zero sugar in it, but I appreciate still the 100-point redemption. I really appreciate that. This deck is uh, seems to be functioning today, guys. That's a quality hand right there. That's a... Uh, that is the American dream. That's what you believe in. Mutavault. This is most likely uh, Merfolk then. So I better get my swings in while I can. Like the only modern deck that runs Mutavault, right? Okay, we're going to get our swings in here. Swing it. I don't have Searing Blood. Oh, God. Get um charge into the red zone. Oh my god, a force negation. That's horrible. That is not what you want to that just means that I have to do it during their turn. Now they have that force negation. I can't be trying to Boros charm during my turn. I mean they're under some pretty good duress here. What's going to fuck me up, though, is like a spreading seas. Harbinger of the Tide. Okay. Sure. 
played no junk saga jun oh oh yeah Mer this deck's supposed to be really good now i don't know what changed but yeah Dismember. So here I think I want to go like, I said I wasn't going to play an instant on my own turn, but we're going to go for it. Fuck yeah. And then I am going to get another Sacred Foundry. Because if they spreading seas one Sacred Foundry, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah, well, luckily that wasn't cast. Or kicked, I mean. So we know they have Dismember, which they're just not really going to be able to play. I mean, that's just instantaneous death if they play it. Sure. <laughs> that's how it goes, right? You, you play the list that everybody's like, oh my god, it was so good, bro. It was so good. Let's see if they force negation this. Kaboom. What if they don't have another blue spell? The fear is real. Goal crack? Okay. Yeah, we just want to do everything on their turn now. Only one was against Tron. How the hell is that possible? What? <laughs> Maybe I still should have attacked. I don't think so, though. Whenever it attacks, draw a card. I want to do this before they draw a card. Oh. Questionable hands. A lot of times if I'm Jun and I beat Tron, it's because they kept a hand of all Tron lands and they never found a payoff. It's like, oh, shit. All right. So, what is happening here? Are they bringing in a lord? Absolutely. All right, well, we just got to hope they don't have a spell pierce or something. We know one card in hand is indeed a dismember. Now, these both have island walk. Uh, I think in draw, we skull crack them. No, an upkeep, I mean. Skull crack. Big wax skull crack, all right. 
No searing blood here, but I do have deflecting palm. Um, maybe I need path exile. That might be halfway decent. Searing blade should be good. Uh, I think I like taking out like like this. I'll bring in the paths for the god fish. Yeah, Alpine Moon would be good against Tron, though, for sure. I mean, it, it's maybe better than Blood Moon in some cases, right? No. <laughs> I think Blood Moon's still better. I mean, yeah, it costs three mana, but, you know, Blood Moon, it is everything that's not a mountain, not a non basis suddenly becomes a mountain. Um, you know, this is like an okay hand, I feel. Um, against fish. I think turn one spike. You know, and then just try to keep steering blazing them. I'm gonna try it. All right, Gage, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, you know, be safe out there. Sorry about your 49ers getting wrecked by the, the Eagles, but Seahawks got beat up by your 49ers. It's just the way things go, man. It's just the way things are, bruh. Well, always a bigger fish. Exactly. Yeah, Tom Brady, I hear he might be going to San Francisco to play out his last year. He wants to play one year for San Francisco because he's from San Francisco. So, uh, you know, have to see how it goes. All right, again, I need to go for the Sacred Foundry. They've only got four cards left in hand. Probably don't need to play idle on here. Because they're going to flash in a lot of their creatures and get around it. Ability. Well, Rift Bolt doesn't make any sense to play the Goblin Guide because of Mute of All. But I think I do like Rift Bolt and then hold up uh, Lightning Bolt. Gotta find more lands here. I mean, it kind of sucks. They all have Ward 1 now. Well, that doesn't look good. That's probably another Lord here. Oh, yeah. Take him down to eight. Path to exile.
So if I path this, play Goblin Guy, then try to path the other Murfolk control have Ward 1. Okay. I have to do this now that they're topped out or deck or I mean hand doing an upkeep, I guess. I don't want them to draw a like spell pierce. Keeps that one back. Okay. I I don't think I can win here. Well, I guess I can block. They they don't have I don't have an island. So sure. Fuck. Yeah, I can't win. Yeah, I, I just got screwed there. Nothing I can do. These fire both these of you might play an Eidolon. Go to six anyways. Block. Three, six, eight. Yeah, just concede. Um. Yeah, just resubmit. Did you guys know that the AFC since 2000 has only sent like six quarterbacks to the Super Bowl? Tom Brady nine times, Peyton Manning four times, Ben Roethlisberger three times, and now Patrick Mahomes three times. And then the other oddball quarterbacks are, uh, you know, Joe Burrow, Joe Flacco. A lot of people can't name the third guy. Rich Gannon. Remember that when the Oakland Raiders went to the Super Bowl in what 2002? Um right. Um and then um well, I I guess if you say 2000, wasn't 2000 also uh Trent Dilfer? So I guess he, 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 I think that was 2000, the Ravens when they won the Super Bowl. Now the NFC is on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. Almost every year, a new, different quarterback goes to the Super Bowl. There's only been three times so far. Well, there's only been three quarterbacks for the that have come from the NFC more than once into the Super Bowl since the year 2000. Those three are Russell Wilson, Eli Manning, and a lot of people struggle with this one as well, Kurt Warner. Right? Is that right, or was Kurt Warner 99? When he won the Rams, because he also went with the Cardinals. So that might only be two. Maybe not even Kurt Warner counts. I don't know. That might, might not count. Kurt, no, Kurt Warner did go. What am I thinking? Yeah, he did go. He went. He, you don't have to win. He he did go in, with the Rams the second time when they lost to the Patriots, the, Tom Brady's first Super Bowl. So, yeah, he did go twice. So, yeah, there there is three. Man, I, I can't. I got myself all confused there. But, yeah, there there is three. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go for it. No, <laughs> this is horrible. Man, there's a lot of moles with this deck. A lot. And obviously we keep this. Um, going to put Rift Bolt on bottom.
I wonder why they never put Goblin Guy back into standard. Well, it's not even allowed in Pioneer, right? You can't have Goblin Guy in Pioneer. It's just, it's barely too old, right? What year did this thing come out? Like 2012 or something? It came out in Zendikar, right? The first Zendikar set. Because the oldest set you can have in Pioneer is like Return to Ravnica, right? Which was like 2013. Return to Rav. All right. Swing in for two. It's an Aether Vial. Yeah. Here comes some pain. Man, you love starts like this. It's five damage for... Oh, my God! <laughs> What the fuck? What did they exile? A Lord of Atlantis? Do I want to put that on top? I want to put that on bottom. I, I think I want to put it on bottom because of Searing Blaze. Searing Blaze is just too good. All right, swing for four instead of five. Swift Spear destroyed two cards. Mutaval and Harbinger. All right, they're at 14. The hope here is to draw a land is Searing Blaze something. It still kind of grows because they can play the Mutaval, fire it up, and still be able to have a blocker, like multiple blockers. Did Tom Brady sign with somebody? Oh, Brady just retires. Wow. Okay, no more Tom Brady. Shocking. Tom Brady's gone. I can't believe it. All right, land up the top, please. No. Why don't we just start going for um just deal damage to the opponent through instance? Hmm. How much damage is in my hand here? Well, with the Searing Blaze, it's 10. <laughs> Give him another land. They're top decking subtlety. They're at 12. Creature or planeswalker spell. That's good to know. All right, I mean, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, swing for two. I mean, they'll fire up Mutavault, but that's okay. Force Negation, that's pretty awful. See who this is. It might be a lord, which in that case they'll fire up the muta vault. Boy, this is a long match here. God, no Tom Brady in the NFL. I mean, he's been playing since, uh, as a starter, since I was like 11, 12. That's crazy. What if he comes back out of retirement again? What if he's just like, you know what? I'm not done. Double psych. There's still more... You just gotta fire up this Muniball here. I mean, it's pretty simple. <laughs> my daughter's going nuts. She's she's having a lot of fun. I can hear they're they're my my kid's bedroom is the one directly behind me, and she's in there playing. There's so much fun. It's very tough for me to go to work and I come home from work, spend like an hour with them. And, uh, you know, come back here to play for a couple hours. Like, man. See, they want to subtlety this. Is this spell snare? We know they're getting force negation next. That's what really sucks is that no matter what, unless they tap out, I'm not going to be able to cast. If they do subtlety here, that means they're just going to be left with auto uh, Oboro Palace, Palace in the clouds. I mean, they do subtlety here. I'll put it up. Okay. They decide to leave it. So now they have the force negation. Yeah, you guys can't hear her, then Mike can't pick her up, but my daughter's going nuts. She's having a lot of fun. And she's just yelling. Really cute. Yeah.
Yep. Yeah, now they have me pretty much stuck. I don't even know if this is right, but yeah, they get rid of their hand for it. Which I think I just die now. Yeah, I don't think I can win. I think that was a terrible play. I, I, I just don't think I can really beat this deck. You know, their Muta Vaults are just too good. I mean, really, that's what it is. I mean, just Muta Vaults insane in this deck. Yeah, I can't win. I don't know what I was supposed to do there. I mean, the Force Negation just stopped any play as I had. No matter what, it was going to be countered because they also found motherfucking piece of motherfucking goddamn motherfucking shit, Videlian Hex Clicker, or the fucking stupid fucking name is. You can go fuck itself really hard. Stupid fucking card, piece of fucking shit. Um, yeah, I, I just can't win. Yeah, just concede I don't want to play this shit anymore, fucker. Yeah, it is impossible to win. Because of force negation, force negation stopped everything there. I, I couldn't do anything with force negation. As soon as they show the force negation and they were flooding, like if they only had two lands, so we'd be able to start playing, but it was just no point in me doing anything. I guess I needed and plus I found Hex Catcher or whatever the hell its name was. Uh, motherfucking piece of shit, go fuck yourself, fish card. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Just, they found every out possible. So this is another day where I can't, I cannot find a positive record. I, I, this is back-to-back -back even days, um, with this deck. Um, two and two, uh, what is, what am I, one and one? That means that this is probably gonna be a two and three league. If I'm lucky, um, yeah, just uh, going to try harder tomorrow. Tomorrow, I might be able to play as long. I'm going to get off a little bit early because um, I got stuff I got to do. Uh, that's going to do it for me. Another two, two day, just like yesterday, two and two. Uh, you know, win, lose, win, lose. It's a nice pattern of 50-50. Uh, I have, yeah, that's what I did yesterday, right? No, yesterday I won two, lost two, and then today win, lose, win, lose. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Another day of getting fucked. Uh, let's do some shout outs here. Uh, shout outs to Manure Butt, Thet Gage, uh, CK, Seek Nair 95, and CS Armistead, the MTG Bot, and the Night Bot for Kimi Company. I really appreciate that. Um, also, uh, if you watch this live on Twitch, please consider following. If you watch this on YouTube, please consider, consider subscribing in this video a thumbs up. That'd be really awesome. And you can always find me on Twitter for reasons unknown. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more <coughs> Boros Burn action. Um, you know, we're going to finish this league, I hope. 
and hopefully he'll finish it uh four one three two but the odds are pretty slim uh i think the deck performed better today uh we demolished two opponents when an amazingly close win against hammer time there i mean literally by the skin of my teeth um and then barely lost to mono red again by the skin of my teeth i lost and then here, I just I uh, got out counterspelled, you know, by Murpho. But I, I, you know, I defeated a blue eye control, you know. So whatever. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it, and uh, hope you guys stay safe out there. Eat some good food, drink some good beverage, spend time with your loved ones. Way more important than playing this game. And uh, I hope to see you all very soon. All right, buddy. Peace.